You are listening to episode 69 of the Bastards of King's Reign. Welcome back, everyone. This is Amin, as usual, and today we'll be talking about the BBC TV series Pole Dark. I'm joined by two new guests today. You can introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, okay, so um, so I'm uh, Mary. Um, so I'm usually on uh, Vassals of Kim's Grave podcast, but uh, I'm happy to uh, talk about Paul Dark here today. So it's going to be an interesting discussion. And I'm Alex, I also known as I Wendell on the forums, and I'm also usually a part of the OK. But yay, be OK. <laughs> there hasn't been a lot recently. Yeah. So I'm excited to be on this. <laughs> And we won't. We don't have Bina today, but she's here in spirit. She's a big fan. Yeah. Of her. <laughs> so, <laughs> how did you? Uh, and today's going to be spoiler full. We're going to be talking about both seasons of Full Dark, full spoilers. But how, how did you both get into the series? Um, I think I started. I I watched season one like um, last spring. Uh, just I don't know. I I I probably saw it on the. On the web, since uh, I'm watching a lot of TV shows, so I had a lot of, um, I mean, people talk about a lot of things. So I probably got that got that from an article about and something else. Um, and um, yeah, and then then season two when it aired uh, this um, in in September, and that's that's pretty much it. I'm a, I'm I love British shows, so I guess that's why uh, I got pulled into it um at first yeah it was kind of the same for me i i really like costume dramas and like british period series they're they're not always great but they're always pretty to watch Hmm. so i was looking for one this summer and i saw the first season of full dark and then i saw that the second season came out this year and so I just watched it out of curiosity, but I didn't know about it before. If you're actually into, into uh, kind of historical drama, BBC productions, there's a there's one called uh, Aristocrats from 1999. It's pretty good as well. Oh, it's, it's based I don't on know history. that one. Yeah, it's, it's like a okay. miniseries. It's like six episodes or something. But I remember watching it when it came out, and I have a copy of it. It's, it's pretty good. And the, the, the thing that it's actually mostly based on history, that one. It's based on, like, personal writings between these different family members so they just took it right from that oh cool in terms of full dark i actually got got into it just this past uh, winter break i was visiting my family my parents were actually watching the show already and and so i kind of like caught up and we watched it together it's kind of interesting to see it as a group and uh it was, it was entertaining but and, and as we'll get into it the main character paul dark is i mean he's the protagonist but he's not really a hero like i, I started calling him the most dangerous man in cornwall he's like dark <laughs> he plays by his own rules so <laughs> yeah he's kind of an anti-hero <laughs> yeah anti-hero. more in season two than season one though yeah i felt yes. like he was he was still portrayed as a pretty good guy throughout season one yeah and then the, the shift kind of happened in season two <laughs> i agree because yeah. <laughs> uh, in season one he's like yeah he's doing whatever he likes but he always has good reason and yeah he's, he's still... kind of a robin hood kind of character he's yeah, helping out exactly. his four <laughs> friends by breaking the law and pissing off the rich people <laughs> that's yeah that's that's his main and that's what my parents kind of liked about him it was he kind of like he's he's a noble but he sides with the common people most of the time so um, I guess yeah. we could kind of talk about season one. So he, he's basically he was fighting in the American Revolutionary War. Like he gets some injuries and comes back. People they thought he was dead, and, and apparently he was going to marry his sweetheart. Now she's engaged to his cousin. When he comes back, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was <laughs> that's not a nice situation. <laughs> and and his dad his dad died in the meantime. Yes, also, that's right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Also. So he's basically coming back with. Uh, Daddy is gone, and uh, Elizabeth is going to marry his cousin, and that's that's going to be weird. Yeah, he's part of like part of the Paul Dark family, but he's kind of like I guess his father was like I don't know if his father was a second son, but he's definitely got the poor side of the estates. Francis has yeah. like the main estate, right? Yeah, it looks like. Um, yeah, I think I Francis think his father, dad was yeah. more senior than his father. Definitely. But you know what was kind of funny it was uh, my parents had already been watching season two and they liked Francis and I, I was like watching season one I was like what are you talking about he's 
the two new pathetic characters. Yeah. Like, he has an arc that eventually goes into season two that develops him, right? Like, yeah, one, he's, like, this I'm still kind of conflicted about <laughs> Francis. Like, some episodes he's really cool, and then he's just a whiny little shit the rest of the time. <laughs> Most of season yeah, one, he's whiny. Yeah. Like, I mean, he, he, the whole yeah. arc of season one, I think, till. I don't know. Well, most of season two as well, really. <laughs> no, but uh, after like the – is it the season one or two when he like almost kills himself? Uh, just the, the very beginning of the, of season two. Yeah, yeah. That's the change point though I think, right? After that, yeah. he yeah. tries to – like he hit rock bottom yeah. and, and b- bounces up. But season one, he's just like it, – it's, it's okay, the, the main problem of season one, or I guess the, the lesson take away is like, yeah, Ross comes back, Elizabeth is engaged, and – and even Francis is kind of like ready to be like, okay, I guess I'm gonna just like cancel this and let it go. But going forward was the mistake there. Rushing into that marriage just caused trouble for all three of them. Yeah. yeah. If they should have like I don't know, took some time, taken some time to, okay, you're back. Let's let's talk about this. But I I'm not sure it would have been that helpful. I mean, uh, it it was gonna happen anyway, and uh, it's um, I mean the issue is. Uh, Elizabeth character I mean she's yes. basically undecided throughout both seasons <laughs> and it's 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 kind of annoying and <laughs> she was it, it was going to bring trouble anyway at some point she I mean yeah. if you look at it overall she's not really a good match for Ross like they're kind of like first love thing but in terms of long term yeah definitely I agree uh, I think from, from this point of view uh, Demelza is a way better match for us than Elizabeth uh, ever was but yeah first love well I thought um, at the beginning um, Elizabeth seems pretty set on marrying Francis like when Ross comes back she's just like oh well sorry I've moved on I thought you were dead and it's only after she's married Francis that she starts to, I feel like she starts to regret um, dismissing Ross that easily. Well, Elizabeth, because it's mostly really annoying because she kind of pushes her into it. And then like other times, yeah. she's like, why did we waste you on a pole dart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her mom is so it. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like her mom is never happy. Yes. Because like when she when she marries Francis, her mom is well, she's backing her visibly, and then she's like, Oh, the pull dogs, they're not that great, aren't they? <laughs> and then when um George comes into the picture, she's like, Oh, that upstart, um, he's not a real noble. <laughs> but <laughs> she, like after after Elizabeth marries uh, George in the second season, her mom kind of comes around to him. Like she doesn't openly um, well, insult kind of him or anything. Toward George as well. I mean, if she, she starts, George starts like buying her off basically, and then she's like, "Yeah, hey, marry George." <laughs> yeah, she kind of changes her opinion yeah. halfway through season two. Well, I think George's uh, character is really interesting because I I saw parts of it, like I kind of watched it out of order, and then I went back to season one. Like he didn't seem like all bad at times. I mean, if you watch the sum of it, he is bad. But, yeah. Like at times he was at the start, he's just trying to like I want to be like friends with Ross and he's useful and like Ross like spurns him like every single time. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> they're all pretty complicated in their relationships because if if they'd all just been friends from the start, none of this would have happened. <laughs> well, George went to school with with Ross as well. I think George is George thinks that Ross is spurning him because he's like, oh, I'm not true nobility, but it's not that because Ross hangs out with everybody. He just doesn't like George. Yeah. As a character. So George, because he's recent nobility, he actually like embraces it full on. Like he, his family is recent nobility, but he embraces like their their kind of exclusiveness right there. Yeah. yeah. I- I think it's. Uh, I mean, the the whole. He's a very complicated character, and I agree uh, that he's he's not all bad in season one. And I actually kind of liked him. I mean, liked him and hated the fact that I liked him. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's also. I think the fact that his new nobility is why he's trying so much to be a friend with Ross because mm. they he 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 wants to be part of the thing and 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 every time Russ is just like that I I don't like you I <laughs> should just leave me alone and <laughs> and that that's not very nice <laughs> yeah. and so obviously he 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 holds a pretty big 
big grudge after that. Yeah. Well, that's that's one of Ross's uh, faults. Is like he's too emotional and too maybe like speaks his mind. Like yeah, if you don't like George, you don't have to like hang out with him, but you don't have to like spurn him like ten times in a row to like yeah. make, make him hate you. If he had just been neutral, then George probably would never have caught any problem. Like George, the time, like when Ross's daughter dies, George is trying to like give an olive branch, and he's like, "I'm happy your cousin died." <laughs> <Return> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I really like Demelza. I think uh, looking at the characters here, she's one of my like the top three: Demelza, Verity, and Aunt Agatha. I, I like those are my top three. Oh, <laughs> Aunt Agatha is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She has just the best one liner. She has like a pistol too or something. Right? Like she carries it Yeah, she has yeah, a tiny little pistol. <laughs> yeah, I really like Demelza too. I think she's my favorite character. And she kinda like so she like Ross uh kinda saves her and then she's with him and then she's actually kinda like the pursuer, right? Like she's kinda like going after him and he's like, Well if we do this it's be true. She's like, That's okay. <laughs> I don't want this to happen. So that that that's a pos- like that's the positive sexual incidents in, in this series because there's, there's a neg- I guess yeah. we can get to the the big issue because that's that's the one I think everyone sees in season two is with Ross and Elizabeth in the rape scene and yeah. it's almost like Jamie uh, Cersei all over again because yeah. the creators seem to say that, that it wasn't a rape scene but like everyone oh, watches really? it like even my parents who like no, they, in school and are not aware of modern stuff like interpretation even they're like why is he yeah. raping her from I watching think it? I think it's kind of um, I mean um, like uh, Tom on the forums uh, actually answered me on that point he said that uh, he read the books and yeah. and it, it was definitely very clearly a rape in the books yeah um and uh, I I didn't I'm not sure I saw it that way in the in the show I mean uh it wasn't. It wasn't as clear. I, I, I'm not sure what they were going for uh, with this scene. If it was really supposed to be um, to be a rape or not, I'm, well, I'm not entirely the, sure. The result is it wasn't because Elizabeth didn't really view it as a rape. But, but yeah. But, and you have to view it through 17th century or 18th. Oh, it's not 17th century. This is 18th century. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 18th century. Point of view where like century. women are not really supposed to be active in the bed, anyways. Right? They're supposed to respond. Like you have to view it through that lens as well. Like, yeah, but, aggressor, but on the other hand, like when Ross sleeps with Demelza, his first instinct is to say, oh, I've dishonored you. Now I have to marry you. Yeah. And the the contrast between that and uh, raping Elizabeth and not calling it a rape is pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Well, blaring. I, I think. Well, here's the thing. I don't care really what happened in the books. I'm, I'm fine. In, in this, <laughs> I'm not a poll doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to. This show is its own thing. I want to enjoy its own thing. And I think. If the show had done it like had had clearly made it a clearly a consensual thing between both, it would have been more interesting because it would have been two people like, having adultery, and what we're going to do. Yeah. About it. And that would be more interesting than it's like Ross forcing the issue. It would I think it would just be more interesting if they both had been consensual 100 percent from the start. Then the result yeah. would have been more interesting because then Demelza could have been equally angry with both. But when like when it's like quasi rape, you're like, why are you angry at Elizabeth? Like she kind of like it was going to happen anyways. So we made the best of it. If it was going to happen anyways, right? It, it, it just would have been better if it was like clearly consensual for both and then they both regretted it. I think it would have come Yeah, I, 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 I kind of agree because uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't read the books. I don't really... Uh, it's the same, same, same as you. I want to enjoy the show at it as its own, th- own thing. Mm. And, um, but it's, it's, it's interesting to, to just to, to discuss still the, the choice they, they made about Ross's character. Like... Why? Because it's so. I mean, all his evolution in season two is just you wanna you wanna slap him. I mean, I mean, he's he's <laughs> he's a jerk. Basically, with yeah. Demelza, he's awful. And so it, it it would have been a different thing. I agree, and and probably more interesting uh, for, uh, to to watch if it, it had been consensual. Yeah, because it's just yeah. there's so much in that like. Just the, the lead up is so bad. Like he's without any context. So just like forces his way into the bedroom and he's like forces kisses and she's like you wouldn't dare. And kiss. Why do you need? Yeah. Why do you need to do it this way? Like it, yeah. it, it it didn't need to be done this way. Like Ross was already. We already had reasons to call him an anti-hero. He already like yeah. beats up people and mm-hmm. tries to shove somebody's face in the fire. And like he just he, he does enough. He doesn't need to add this to his. <laughs> and his then list. adultery is bad enough. I mean, yes. you don't have to add rape to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
So the the way I kind of like I I mean the way I view that scene is almost I kind of rewrite it as consensual. Otherwise, I just ca- I can't really like Ross as a character. Yeah. So and and because yeah. the way, also, the, way the, the consequences in the show treated as consensual yeah. as well, right? The, the they, yeah, yeah well. definitely. The consequences are well, they just treated like it was consensual from the start, after the fact. Yeah. When, like that scene is just really problematic. And and, and they kind of the. the the sex happening had another reason in terms of Elizabeth being pregnant now. And yeah. the way, like, onto Gatsby. Yeah. What if the kid comes early? And she's like, even his left, it's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> the full dark is coming. So. I mean, Elizabeth, uh, she, she kind of uh, had it coming. I mean, I, I'm sympathetic with her at times, but because I'm also a very indecisive person. Hmm. But still, uh, she was, she she's being, I mean, just accept what. What you, I mean, you choose to marry Francis, and yes. then you choose to marry to marry George. Just, just go with it. Don't, don't. It's leave, leave yeah, us and alone. All these, all these conversations between them when they're like at parties and they're talking about, oh, but we could have been married, you know, and yeah, exactly. Just, just and maybe I still have feelings there's, there's no for you. Talking about and, that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have a clean break yeah. at that point. There's no point in being like, oh, I kind of loved you. Even after, just don't even. It just it's, it's this halfway stuff. Don't say it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I, I mean, you look. You get to see a lot of like Elizabeth's inner like meetings with the characters. I don't really like her as a character. I mean, and I don't. I mean, in some sense, she's kind of forced into that role by where she was born and her mother putting into it. But I don't just. I don't. I'm like, I just see Demelza as a far better match for Ross in terms of like personality and character and whatever. Like he ended up in the right place, and at the end of season two, he kind of gets that finally. He's like, yeah. Arthur is imperfect, <laughs> yeah. but it's real. Yeah, poor Demelza. Well, she, she yeah, slaps and... uh, Ross pretty well. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> but it's, I mean, her, her whole reaction to all of this is just so dignified and, and, um, and, and proud. And, I mean, she's amazing when she, she realizes what happened and, uh, um, and he doesn't even he doesn't even realize that he has something to apologize for, you know. Yeah, like, that's just so why why would I be yeah. sorry? Um, and she's <laughs> like, if you don't understand, yeah. I'm not going like, to explain it. For why you. would I be sorry for my true feelings? Well, exactly. if you're married, yeah. <laughs> your true feelings are supposed to be for your wife. And yeah, yeah and even like when Demelza is almost tempted by. Um, the, the mustache the guy. guy yeah yeah <laughs> and she down, then though. she realized yeah. yeah and then she realizes she doesn't want him and she just leaves well then, and then the Scottish like, guy actually i mean he, i mean he's a douchebag but at least he eventually does leave he's like better yeah. than Ross at that point so he actually leaves the room <laughs> yeah and, 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 she, and i think there's two cuts of that scene later on because like yeah the males was at that party with like the all, all like the crazy people like the, the, the kind of like questionable people <laughs> Like the, the yeah, old yeah. guy, like, uh, and like the, the the lawyer or whatever, the guy who was like George's like lackey, yeah. his hair, like their old yeah. hair. And, and those other guys are going to come in. And I think there's two different cuts. In one of the cuts, Captain McNeil actually delays them going in. That's what I've heard. Oh. Not in the one I saw, but he kind of like helps Demelza get away there too. Uh, and the other one, they just kind of like delay each other. They're like trying to. And then they go in, she's like escaped. And then, and then yeah, like, the old guy's the like, never has a woman promised so much and delivered so little. <laughs> when she was yeah. delivering, promised him nothing. Like, yeah, I, I, know, I know, but it's just so funny the way he said it. He's so indignant yeah. about it. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so. And I mean, we, we mentioned, I mean, uh, Alex, you said when she, uh, that uh, his true Ross's true feelings should be for Demelza. Um, it's it's not always true uh, at this uh, at this at this yeah. age. I mean, but for but them, it definitely is. I mean, he, they, they didn't they didn't marry for I don't know um, because yeah. because it was uh, set up like that uh, from their youth or because their parents wanted it or because I don't know uh, they married. Because they wanted to marry each other, at least mm-hmm. that's that's what it looked like. Even if it, there was also the the whole, uh, yeah, I slept with you. I have to I have to marry you now. But uh, it's it's definitely 
been a marriage of love, at least in part. So you should definitely uh, have uh, be be sorry for what you did. I yeah, mean, and even if even if he doesn't have feelings for her anymore, which can happen, even yeah. in the love marriage, it like he still has to talk to her about it, like she he's still accountable to her for his actions and for like he has to tell her if he doesn't feel that way anymore yeah that's part of the social contract they have i mean that's, yeah especially that's, yeah. in their marriage which is more of a modern marriage by yeah, our yeah. standards yeah you're right it's it's closer like the just the which is yeah it, it, it's it's ahead of the times compared to the other marriages there. yeah yeah Another interesting marriage is uh, is John and Rudy. I assume they're married, right? Yeah, they're married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they are. <laughs> they're like the I don't know the, the lazy. Actually, no. Uh, Rudy actually does work. John yeah, is the guy who like, does nothing. Yeah. Like, he just, just drinks all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and tells everyone secrets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, well, they have him like the, they pay him off to testify against Bull Dark, and then yeah. he switches over to the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because he 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 throw them uh, out at some point in season one, right? He's yes. like, I don't, yeah. Because, come on, they he, he's doing nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> so and and Except yeah, drinking after that, all of all of Bull Dark's wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's two kind of things that are happening through the, the the entire series one is the whole mining stuff like you yeah. hear the word wheel leisure like a thousand times in the show it's like, oh, <laughs> wheel leisure wheel leisure like wheel grace the, there's this mining thing going on the fall darks have been mining but their minds have been failing the rust keeps going at it and he just keeps like he's like a gambler he just keeps putting more and more yeah. <laughs> money into it and more into it until finally it does come out in the end when the with the new mine so that yeah, yeah but even that. then you don't really know if it's gonna last and the whole time it's just really stressful and sad because every time they make an investment and they have hope that it's going to pay off, then something happens mm. or they run out of money or they run out of coal or whatever. And Oh, just... I don't know. Francis <laughs> tells everything to George. and Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they get bought out by George. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this whole mining business is a big part of the show, though. It goes through the whole the backdrop. Yeah. The, other, the other part is, is full dark in court. He always ends up yeah. like, in court with yeah. <laughs> on trial for like the. Well, yeah, because he likes to fuck with rich people. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. At, for the big, the big one, the big trial at the beginning of season two, it's it's because of the the whole um, the shipwreck. plunder of the of the yeah of the yeah. shipwreck and stuff like that. But I I wasn't it wasn't really clear for me um, in season one if this kind of things was really illegal like mm. usually tolerated because in the scene where george um tells um the the guards or whatever the the that uh they have to go and ar- arrest ross and and the the guys are like uh are you sure because it's usually uh whoever finds it kind of owns it afterwards yeah and i don't know how it was really uh if it was really illegal i mean uh Legal and illegal are probably uh, much um, fluid concepts at the time, but. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I think, think. Go ahead. Yeah, the question was more whether or not um, the cousin was still alive when yes. the boat um, uh, landed. Or yeah, for sure. But when when right. when when George uh, in this thing, I think uh, George doesn't know if it's cousin is that is that yeah. alive he doesn't know it, it, but he he says uh ross is going there he hasn't he, he cannot do that and uh, and it's the whole just uh, aside from the um yeah murder or no murder or uh, the plunder of the cargo i wasn't sure if that was supposed to be um yeah tolerated usually well, i think i think if the if the people on the ship were still alive it would be it would still be their property, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. I think the well, it's all <clears throat> it's tied in with the murder. Yeah, um, yeah. I think so. It's too. kind of questionable. Like, I mean, like, yeah, I think most of the time they would be able to plunder, but I mean, when it came to actual charges, it was more like the riot and the uh, yeah the murder that were the main charges. That's what they they were, they were kind of hesitant to arrest. They might have arrested him and let him go if it was just like a peaceful 
plunder. But th what happened is what led to the charges. And I think you're right. If they were alive and holding on to it, it's different from what, whether if they were all dead and then just. And on the fact that he he actually went and organized it and went there. Yeah, because he organized just, it. Like, common people picking it up, right? Yeah, he organized it before the ship was ashore. Hmm. Basically, I think if if you go to a beach and there's a ship that just wrecked and there's uh, I don't know food and stuff and casks of rum and whatever, <laughs> then you can take it because no one's around. But if yeah. there's a ship coming from a distance where people are possibly still alive on it, then well, I think what Ross did was a bit precipitated yeah. in that regard. Yeah, for sure. like if he had waited for the ship to land and everyone to like check if there were still people on it. He it actually been... he actually kind of helped the few survivors, right? Yeah, he yeah, tried. he did. Yeah. But he did also uh, bring all of the the people onto the beach yeah. to plunder. And <laughs> angry yeah. and hungry people. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it, because the revolution is going on in France at the time, and they kind of feel that here. Even it leads to the whole scene yeah. in season two when they yeah. go like to George's Manor, and there's people there on the Bolduc Manor, and yeah. they're scared because like, they can feel that like potential here as well. And and, and Ross also, I mean, no one wants to pay taxes in this area. I guess I don't know if the government's taxing them. <laughs> they always like trying to smuggle in this stuff because they want to pay taxes. And the second time where he gets in trouble for smuggling, he just kind of just pays off people to be like. He was never there, and so he never yeah. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this whole, uh, yeah, this all, this whole plot of the the smuggling also is uh, kind of going on all through season two, right? Mm. And mm. Uh, it's annoying as well. I mean, not annoying. It's an interesting plot. It's just like Demelza is like, please, you already almost got uh, <laughs> hanged for 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 murder the last time. Just stop it. <laughs> stop. Stop. Uh, taking money from this guy and it's whole key I mean coming back to Ross's uh, um, behavior towards her he's just well whatever I'm, I'm putting you and myself and everyone in danger but yeah. I don't care yeah. I'm gonna keep and doing it also that is so stupid because he has so many rich friends and yes. it's proven later that like Caroline helps him by paying off his debt and if yeah. he just asked one or like five friends to pay off his debt, they would have done it because they like him. Yes. And right. they know he, they know he him just from didn't have water, to go so. through all that danger. And yeah. Well, he didn't want, he he wanted he, to do it himself. He doesn't want to be like. Yeah, but for help. <laughs> but he's putting his wife and yeah, child, child at risk every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, and it kind of I guess I guess going into that, we can talk about some of the other. Uh, well, we talked about Verity a bit. Let's just kind of like finish up her arc but she wants I mean, she finds her wants to get married finds somebody and marries against like Francis's like will yeah. or whatever and then yeah. turns out pretty well in the end for her she, um, yeah it does she's she's a really really great character I mean she's so um fresh and nice and yeah um, and it, I love her a, yeah. relationship with the mouse though because yeah. they're they're just so nice to each other exactly it's a it's a good change from well, I like Ross yeah, when, when they're chatting, and, and it shows like their sensibilities at the time. Where like, it's like, do you love him? And she's like, yeah, I, I love him, and like, I think I please him in bed. And like, Verity's like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk <laughs> about this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, in, so in terms of, uh, well, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, she kind of like, yeah, she's she and Demelza have a really interesting relationship. She, um, it's it's kind of like the goal between a lot of characters. Uh, but so yeah, so the, the another kind of like um, trio of characters that all link together are, are the are Dwight Ennis, the doctor, and yeah. Ross's friend, and, and Caroline, uh, yeah, uh, and her uncle, and then the the politician guy. So initially going in, I think the Ray Penvenen wanted to kind of like see the the politician guy marry Caroline, but she's not interested in him. She's kind of just like holding holding him off, like stringing it along for now but dumps him yeah, <laughs> yeah. he seems like kind of an idiot too oh yeah he, he seems he's like such a moron right. he is yeah <laughs> he just wants to get her money he's just like i need money yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and with the whole uh election and rioting and yeah. stuff like that he's just why why are they attacking me he's just yeah. always <laughs> clueless well, that, that, that was like, yeah. kind of funny because george george is like what's up like george basically buys him out funds and right 
And then he's like, what's yeah, the point yeah. of like buying like a guy in like Parliament? Yeah. He's too stupid to do anything. I can't get anything done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like George is like a little finger in the series. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, so yeah, Dwight and and Caroline. Um, I mean, but even in season two, Dwight has already kind of a, a yeah, a well, he has romantic like, like he arc. Does with that, uh, with that. Oh, yeah, that, that's the other part. I was like, well, the characters are real, I guess, real people, right? Like they they act that way because because like yeah, this married woman keeps flirting with Dwight, and I'm like, oh, boy, yeah, going to turn it down. I'm like, what are you doing, buddy? You're, you're, yeah. You surprised Just me stop. there. I'm like, you're gonna, you're not gonna yeah. turn it down. Yeah, this was, whole episode was, uh, yeah, kind of a uh, disturbing from this point of view. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, and afterward with Caroline, it's uh, I love, uh, I, I, I like their love story. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit. It's really yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, they also, I mean, yeah, they're, just they're getting to know each other and kind of like trying to get past the class divide. I feel like uh, Caroline is just not interested in most of the noble guys that she knows. She's too smart for that. Like, she just doesn't find them interesting. Yeah, and, yeah and, that's for sure. And this relationship actually is very helpful for Ross because she bails him out in the, yeah. end, <laughs> the money. Like, it actually worked out well for him when she like, yeah. puts the money there. And she's like, well, it turned out to be a shrewd investment, too. She got all her money back, so... She's a, she's a really interesting, um, I mean, basically all uh, female characters are actually really interesting and, and well-developed, yeah. uh, except maybe for, I mean, Elizabeth is interesting too, but she's she's not maybe uh, a strong female character like uh, all the others. Yeah. But uh, Caroline is really, uh, is really interesting because she's smart and she is, uh, she knows how to play um people around her and stay both uh, staying within her role and and getting out of it and mm. uh it's really interesting the way she is she so she she falls for dwight and uh she she doesn't really understand it at first and she learns to to know him and realize she he he's not interested in her money and she's really surprised at that at first like what? That's not money you want, and <laughs> it's. It, I, I I love the I, I love the the whole dynamic at first, um, and he's so uh, uptight and polite and always saying, um, always apologizing and um, and and being staying staying uh, within his role, hmm. uh, and she teases him all the time. It's really it's really fun. Yeah, I think she plays like the flirting really well with that with like. Oh, I've got a sore throat. Are you gonna <laughs> check on yeah. me? Type of thing. Yeah, and I, I have to give a shout yeah, out to her she, dog. Yeah, except she she uh, actually had a had a sore throat, not like the other did. girl. She initially she did twisted guess... her ankle on purpose. Oh yeah, exactly. She oh, actually, yeah. she, oh, she actually did have. A sore throat. Yeah, that was. Well, I mean, I, I mean, otherwise, I mean, Dwight is almost like a perfect character. I guess that's kind of the real part. That that whole first relationship makes him more yeah. real. But otherwise, yeah. Because like even he's about to like run away with Caroline, and he's like has to go save Ross. Instead, and that kind of like yeah. put him down for another issue. But I, I like Caroline's dog, the pug. It's a cute. Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> and apparently, he had more like he please played up because Caroline's actor was pregnant uh, at part. Oh, of the really? Yeah, so they used the dog to kind of like block it, like she would be holding oh, the dog right. to hide like the baby bump. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked That's because smart. I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, me die. And so they they got married, or I guess. Married in, in kind of like in actions rather than words. I don't know. Like they kind of together yeah. now. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, but he's now he's going though. He's going to the war. That's, that's not yeah, good. definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a little um, worried for him. <laughs> yeah. I hope we're gonna see him. Yeah. I mean, we know if we're gonna see him. Does he appear on the uh, trailer we had already for season th- three? I think I so. Think, but, I see oh, Caroline. I don't, I don't remember if I see him. Or not. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I highly doubt it. I mean, it, it, maybe they do. I doubt they'd be like, oh, then he died in the war. I think he would come back. Yeah. And something would happen. I think we'll see him. Just to kill him off, kind of be a waste of just storyline potential. Yeah. Like, there'd be no sure. real game from it. It'd just be kind of like, oh, that's tragic. Just maybe he comes yeah. back and, like, he's lost an arm or something. But uh, <laughs> there can be a consequence to it. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he, now, the now, the now, like, parent, what if Caroline's pregnant? Oh, that too much? Like to have two people like pregnant <laughs> at the end of the. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Maybe maybe Dwight could um, could uh, desert. That could be. I mean, is that a word in English? <laughs> you know, I, I kind of feel like if they, <laughs> yeah. if they didn't want him to go, Caroline could have just dumped like a thousand pounds and be like, "Hey, can I pay him to leave like, oh, yeah. the army?" Like they could have. There's other alternatives, but it's like he didn't want to do that. Yeah. Like they could have just bought his way out of it. Yeah, he he. It would not really be uh, in character. For yeah, to, yeah. To, to break a commitment like that. I agree. I don't even yeah. know if it would be in character for her because her whole relationship with Dwight is what kind of showed her that there is more to life than money and that like Dwight is really driven by his medical work and he's looking for his purpose in life and he kind of shows all that side of him to Caroline and that's why she loves him so much. Yeah. So I feel like the way that she um like met Dwight and fell fell in love with Dwight, it kind of um, erased that need to buy everything out. And yeah, I think it like she developed a more um, romantic approach to life uh, from knowing Dwight. So yeah. yeah, I feel like at this point she would. Like she would respect his decision and just not try, yeah, maybe I, I try to I agree. maybe try to persuade him to stay, but she wouldn't offer to pay him off. I think. Yeah. Well, he kind of like and he he kind of wins over Ray as well, kind of like sort of comes to, to win him over. Yeah. Um, but even if he hadn't, Ray's gonna probably be dead soon because he has diabetes. And that's not <laughs> really a cure. <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 yeah, it's not good. <laughs> so, I mean, by the time he gets back, they can get formally married. <laughs> But he does win him. He does have to win him over, anyways. So that kind of helps. Yeah. yeah. But I, but I feel like Caroline has a role to play uh, in terms of her money does give her power. And yeah, it does, and she knows how to use it smartly too. Yeah. Because because George has like I mean she's she's basically been playing against George a bit, and he has no idea. Yeah. What's happened so. Yeah. It's interesting too. Yeah. Well, I mean, even George and Ennis like their kind of interaction is good too because they kind of like have like. Like volley barbs at each other when 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 Dwight was like broken up with her, he's like, oh, I saw her, she's getting engaged, kind of like. I, yeah. I like I like this side character interaction. I think that's one of my favorite things in any good show is when side characters have interactions outside the main protagonist. I think. Yeah, because it 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 ha- it adds to the reality of it. I mean the plausibility, the um, the fact that we we care about the characters and we see them developing uh, in all kinds of situations and not just when they're interacting with Ross. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything... Uh, we can kind of get into our after show, have our after show game. Is there anything left we want to talk about in the main show? Uh, Francis, I guess. I mean, mm-hmm. we talked about him a little, but not about his yeah. death and the whole... Uh, and, and I mean, their reaction to it and I don't know. Well, even before that, really I kind of want to like uh, talk about when when he lost, like he gambled away like all this stuff, yeah. like his mind. Yeah. <laughs> that was so. But but maybe he was. I don't know. Was did George beat him in that game, or was that the other like the, the cheater guy got exposed? It was the other guy. That was um, such a uh, like nerve. Who is actually the, the? Yeah, that's the actually cousin. George's cousin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. And then he eventually dies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In in the shipwreck, but like he's it, that it, when, when Ross was playing him and he's like gambling everything, and you're like, oh my god. It's so nerve wracking, yeah. and then he grabs his arm. <laughs> yeah. Knows that he was cheating. Yeah. And then George is like, "Oh, I didn't think so." And his friends is like, "Nope, he was. He was <laughs> he, I, saw, I saw it. Yeah, that that he gets. He's just going rock bottom. Like he just opposes Verity's marriage when, like, I mean, like, I guess that's something that somebody might have done, but he could have gone. He could have gone like outside of like he should have had a broader view there. He just like kind of gets into a fight. With uh, Verity's husband, who just like is like way more, <laughs> like you're like what you're gonna fight this guy? He's gonna kill you. Like he almost killed you twice. He's gonna kill you, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, um, I I think he's a really interesting character, Francis. He he, he yeah, the whole gambling thing and the way he's op- opposed to uh, Verity's uh, marriage um, doesn't really uh, do him. Um, credit but he i mean he's uh is he has a his recent relationship with ross and the whole uh his father you know at the 
hmm. beginning of season two, season one, we have um, Francis' father, father who's still alive, and he's a really hard father figure, right? Hmm. Um, and I think all of that, and Ross being so um, charismatic, and everyone loves him, and he's always doing what he wants, and Francis is trying to stay in his role and do what's asked of him, but but he doesn't really uh he yeah he's not he's not as um skilled maybe uh, um uh, at all of this um than was and yeah and also i think the way yeah yeah he also is kind of um close-minded in the way in the sense that he's Uh, the heir to this family he's a noble man and he thinks everything is owed to him because of his position and he doesn't well ross goes into the mine and works every day francis doesn't do that he thinks like the mine should take care of itself and he he's just the owner and he gets the benefits but when that doesn't work out um he tries to fix that by gambling and it doesn't work out and it's only in season two when he starts to work in the farms because he's or in the fields because he's all out of options for the mining business. And yeah, that's when but... he like when he starts to reconnect with his son too and he becomes more human, I feel like, when he kind of turns his back on well what his father wanted for him and he kind of accepts the fact that he has to work for for his life. Yeah, and I think throughout all season one, he's uh, it's it's a big um, it, it's a, a lot of weight on his shoulders. The fact that he's heir to 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 the Paul Dark uh, fortune and and estate, and he has to um, yeah to be up for it. And the the interesting thing about him is that uh, as you said, he evolves actually uh, uh, during season two, and he finally gets. That he has to work, he has to, um, he has to do things, and he's uh, much, m- much happier for it. And yeah. that that's a nice evolution. I mean, and in in that sense, the fact that he died is tragic, but the character kind of had, um, I mean, everything had been. Um, his his arc was kind of closed. You know, he evolved, yeah. and and he he was. Well, well adjusted and and playing with his son and everything, so it's kind of logical that <laughs> one way or another <laughs> it would have to end. <laughs> yeah. Also, this show is really sad. Like, yeah. yeah. The end of season one, I was in tears the whole final episode. Oh yeah, um, Julia's <laughs> death. Like, yeah, and, yeah. Their their kid dies and, and like the mind doesn't work out, and then yeah. he gets arrested and. You're just yeah. like, why? <laughs> why is this all happening yeah. to this one family? <laughs> well, and I, I, I kind of liked it when, when Ross. I think Ross, when Ross and Francis work together, it kind of like they suit each other. Yeah, they bounce out and they can deal with it. But but I mean, the pole darks have like various curses. It's like the curse of the pole darks. They have ambition, yeah. but not the yeah. finances, and and they they have some bad luck as well. But so I have one other kind of question before we go after show. Uh, just in terms of because we're running out of time a bit, but uh, yeah, in terms of George and Elizabeth, uh, do you think he kind of liked her from the very start? And how much of it do you think uh, was uh, that his own like? And how much was kind of like because Ross liked her and he wanted to just get what he thought was Ross's love? Um, I don't know. I think he really, li- he really liked her. And I think he really kind of loves her. But I'm not sure he knows actually uh, how to love someone. Because the way he acts with her afterwards is just really... I mean, wanting to send um, uh, her son uh, away and everything, he's really not nice. But I, I really think uh, in his own twisted way, he, he, he loves her. Yeah, because he's yeah. Really nice to her even from the very start, even when she was to Francis too. He kind of like yeah. wants to get to know her. So I think there was maybe an attraction there from the very start. Yeah, I think it's a bit of both because... <clears throat> On the one hand, yeah, he he does kind of have feelings for her um, when she's married to Francis. But then when he marries her, I think it's really, like, it's really to get to Ross and not as much about his feelings as 
he wants to have power over this family and kind of buy them out. And his like uncle or his his other friends are like, why are you doing this? You're marrying like this late twenties widow. Oh my god, what are you doing? Like by the standards of the time, they're like why are you <laughs> yeah. why are you doing that with a child already? And but I guess he get oh, he also gets the Paul Dark Manor. He gets to to live there. Yeah, like, and he gets a dark. But like I mean, the, yeah. the, that whole like fight, the whole fight at the end was kind of funny. Where like he's like, I'm like looking after estate and get out of my house is like no it's jeffrey Trimble's house it's not your house <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jeffrey charles is yeah. like five <laughs> yeah. poor kid but that was an awesome yeah. fight though they actually had oh yeah that, that, actually another george's arc through the whole series one of his things he's scared of ross too like he's scared yeah, ross yeah. Is gonna fight him so he's yeah, and this, training his whole to, training <laughs> yeah and, like dirty fighting and stuff and he uses like dirty fighting and he still loses both times even with like <laughs> Dirty yeah. Training. Like, he has yeah, to but he, to his credit, he does kind of, he knows how to fight now. Well, yeah, he puts up a good fight both like, times, but in yeah. the end, I mean, like, he's going to get his face shoved in the fire by. <laughs> yeah, what is Ross? I mean, like, Ross is not even thinking. He's going to shove this guy's face in the fire. Then what's going to happen? Are you going to get out of that one on, yeah. on trial? Yeah. <laughs> That's really not smart. <laughs> okay. Well. This has been really fun. I've enjoyed chatting about this, and I'm looking forward to season three. Maybe we'll have like a follow-up episode. Yeah, um, sure. But thanks for joining <laughs> so much, and we'll have our after show again. Uh, thanks for joining. Check us out on Bastards of Kingsrave.wordpress.com and on Facebook as well. And we'll see you next time. This is our after show game where we kind of like go through the characters. Have you played this before? Where it's like Mary or Mistress slash Slav. One nighter. Um, yeah. Nope, I haven't. You haven't but so Alex you... has. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did it a few times with various shows. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have the BBC. They have the list of characters here. It's not that long, so we can kind of just use the the, the BBC the, list. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so it's like Mar- it's like Mary's, or it's Mistress, or like One Nighter, or Scorpions. <laughs> That's those are the options. So, and. Uh, Typically, I, I mean, the scorpions are in yourself. So yeah, the scorpions bad. are for you. Yeah, that's okay. the. Sorry, what? That's the catch. Like, it's the so scorpions bad are you, for you. If you pull the sash, the scorpions fall on you. You'd rather have the scorpions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so starting off with Ross. Um, I'd say one night because um, he's great and all, but um, after season two, I wouldn't really want to be married to him. <laughs> What about yeah. season, season one would be different? I guess, yeah, right, season two. Yeah, season one, he's really romantic. He's devoted to Demelza, but then... But it, he, he, he just, like, shit. sleep with another girl and be like, you know, I loved him for ten years. Sorry about that. Okay, we're good, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not. When he comes back, from, like, the, it's funny when he signs up and he comes back and he's like, I didn't decide not to go to war. And then she starts, like, leaving and he's like, what are you doing? I came back. Why are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that was pretty good acting with his eyes. He just kind of, like, looks around. He's like, what's going on? Like, you're leaving? <laughs> what's happening to me? <laughs> what? what did I do? I came back. Giving us gold now. Giving us copper. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> One night for me, too. His Ross is kind of sexy, so... His whole, like, shirtless thing was part of, like, the reason why the show became lost. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then they have Francis try to be shirtless too. It's like yeah, <laughs> this doesn't work as well. <laughs> I guess the next they'll have like George. I mean George, the, George would be fighting. Was he shirtless? <laughs> they, did, they did that. He was like dressed up and like. What? No, he has yeah, like, no, a little yeah. white shirt. Puppy, like, a shirt. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think Demelza is a Mary. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not much to be said there, but it, it, if it's not a Mary, it's still at least. A mistress or one. I don't know. I don't know if she she doesn't really fit the mistress role, but one night. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm curious to what to see what you you say about George. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I guess one night too, because like I said, I kind of like him, even though I hate to like him. So. <laughs> Well, I think they I guess, they cast him in a more, more ha- uh, handsome actor this time than before. Apparently, it's supposed to be more of like a Weasley look, but they they, they, <laughs> they, they, they didn't go with that <laughs> this time. Right? No, no, I think yeah. he looks like Draco Malfoy. Oh yeah, like, a little he's, bit. He's blonde and he's 
spiteful and well does that do it for you then or no (laughs) nah i i'd say more like a mistress because like he would pay he would pay for stuff but i wouldn't have to be married to him Ooh, nice yeah (laughs) i mean he actually has like that uh the prostitute that he hooks up with quite a bit until she yeah but like she she comes like all his parties too that was an interesting character yeah, I, I have a feeling that a lot of women would want to one night him, I think, because he's kind of written that way, or maybe that's the way they, they cast him, but I, I don't think... Because I, he can be nice, yeah. he, he can be nice to people, like, he's nice to Elizabeth, but his whole fixation on Ross is a bit weird. Well, Ross is, like, his one true love, and then he keeps... Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if he's... <laughs> he's getting rejected. <laughs> Every About time. George and Ross. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be ross george shippers out there <laughs> yeah, yeah probably <laughs> yeah if ross comes home from george's house he's like hey it was 10 years of built-up sexual tension it's okay right <laughs> <laughs> we had a fight and then i tried to shove him into the fire and then one thing led to the other and, yeah. <laughs> kind of an <laughs> and then elizabeth it just has a shocked look <laughs> <laughs> all right I, I think elizabeth is not a mary and it's not a mistress either. And, and I, honestly, to me, it's not even a one-nighter. I don't know. I guess a one, I mean, one-nighter is better than Scorpions. I just don't really like a character. Yeah, same. Yeah. I don't know. Same. She's... It's just, it's maybe just not Scorpions, so because, because she's, like, she's not so time. bad. But <laughs> She's like... I mean, and, and again, this is a, I mean, she's a product of her time. It's not her fault. But she's like, yeah. I don't smile a lot because that causes wrinkles. That's why I'm not smiling. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't, I don't. It's like, why aren't you smiling, mommy? Smiling causes wrinkles. I don't want to smile. Okay. But it's a product of her times. It's not her fault, right? It's from her mother's been whispering that in her ear since childhood. Yeah. Yeah. So what, 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 do, you, what do you think about Francis now? Let's say end, end of oh his boy. life, Francis. Not, not the initial Francis. End of his life, Francis? Um... Well, maybe Mary, yeah. Yeah, because he's, well, in season two, he's really, he cares for his family, and he's, yeah, yeah he's really devoted to his son. So I mean, I he's, a, he's a good guy. He's yeah. sweet, and he's a good guy, which is something that you should want in your <laughs> in your husband, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of his character development, he gets a good point. Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's and there was, it would, I mean, that's why I guess he had to die, otherwise the story would have worked out. Like, Ross and him would have eventually got some money out of that mine, and yeah. it would have been good for them, so. Mm. <laughs> so, off. nope, that can't gonna happen. happen. He never learned how to swim. <laughs> and they, they kind of did, like, a fake-out where, like, they're going to rescue him, but it was him just imagining it. And then it hit Yeah. Him. Well, that's the but other thing. It was thing. so I, tragic. Uh, in terms of, but, but in terms of anti-hero, like, the first episode, he falls in the water, and Ross kind of just watches him, he's like, and, and, and then he pulls him out, and he's like, I thought you were going to let me drown. He's like, yeah, I was thinking. Like, okay. Yeah. You, you don't. You don't need to have a rape scene. He was already an anti-hero, guy. So you don't yeah. <laughs> okay. Verity is Mary material. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's the best. Yeah, not much to be said there. I mean, it's pretty three hours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dwight again is probably marriage material. I would think, right? Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. he's a doctor, so if you're sick, he's got you covered. <laughs> yeah. That was so, I mean, it, that whole, like, again, his first, like, the first woman, like, it, and Ross kind of even warned him, too, but yet he's still kind of, just don't open your door if you, if you can't control yourself. <laughs> you don't have to answer your door. I guess he, 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 if people come for, like, medical reasons in the middle of the night, they might yeah. need help, but unbelievable, kind of. But I guess it needs it need something to make his character not be, like, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, let's just skip over Jude and Prudy and move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Caroline? Um, Mary, because I really like her, and she's really smart, and the money is she has a lot, of money. Have a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> she's a cute dog. Yeah, I guess she's actually. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I agree. Yeah, Mary there. All right, well, we got kind of just a kind of like the loser trio coming up right now. <laughs> Un- Unwin. <laughs> we have Unwin, who's just scorpions. Uh, Ray is your typical nobleman. Type of guy. Yeah. yeah, he's really old. And yeah, not very. He's not uh, that kind. 
No. The person. No. He's not a horrible person though either, but he just he, he's no, a normal he, person. Kind of Yeah. cares for his, cares for his niece and is a bit prejudiced, but it's not like he, he kind of like he, he has reason to be kind of like he, most people would be going after her for money. Like yeah. when putting aside that the, the actress they cast was gorgeous, but even if she wasn't playing like they'd still be going for her for the money, so Yeah. Yeah. So it's understandable, but yeah. still <laughs> Okay, so that, then I'm curious what you you two thought of Captain McNeil. You know, I, I thought of as an annoying character, but I want to see what your perspective is <laughs> more. Yeah, um, I think he he doesn't really mean any harm, but still, like he he visits Poldark yeah. and Demelza just to talk to Demelza, and it's yeah. kind of like why. Yeah. <laughs> you like you know they're married. You're yeah. friends with Ross. Why would you try to go after his wife? Yeah. But at at least he's consistent, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, no, but I mean, he's not. He's not like Elizabeth teasing Ross without uh, actually wanting. Yeah. I mean, without knowing what she wants. Yeah. He knows what he wants. Like, and he knows. He, he, knows he flirts he with with the Melza, and and that's it. And yeah, if something but... comes of it, good. Otherwise. <laughs> And, and, I mean, yeah, that, he he rescues her from that old guy to um, yeah. tries to kiss her in the bushes. Yeah. Oh, that's true. He does, he does, he does, uh, I feel like also uh, maybe I mean it, it, it's obviously he's like bad for doing that, but I feel like the Melza had kind of said no early on. He would have stopped coming. Probably would have stopped. Like he would have. Like, yeah. Okay, I, I, well, I, I feel like the Melza was just being polite to him because yeah, he's Ross. To, to and, yeah. Yeah, and she's like, "Well, he's coming over for tea. I'm just gonna make yeah. him tea and talk to him." But Ross well, and it's kind of an awkward those. situation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you cannot really say, "Okay, dude, I'm not interested. Just stop, stop, stop visiting." Yeah. Can, <laughs> also, also, Ross it. is paying zero attention to her. At this yeah. yeah. He's also <laughs> smuggling time. stuff uh, later too, and you know, <laughs> you've got Captain looking at that. It's like this whole like. Awkward yeah. situation, but I mean, yeah, it is. It is ultimately his fault for uh, creating that situation. I'm yeah, not blaming Demels at all. Yeah. But I am saying, if Demels had said kind of like, or somehow being kind of like absent to being like, sorry, I'm kind of busy. Like, he, I don't think he would have showed up again. I think he would have moved yeah. on. I think he at least would have done. And that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. The, He's really the... persistent, though. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the the whole thing at the party, it, it his. I mean, she she definitely <laughs> uh, teases him and um, and leads him to that. So uh, yeah. and in the end, he doesn't rape her. He actually leaves. Yeah. So but, yeah. And it's yeah. almost like, well, why are we applauding a guy for doing that? But just consider the fun <laughs> yeah. like, for, for for not raping her. Well, bravo! But, but at least he. But still, at least he left. Like a lot of the guys, yeah. everyone else in that party would not have left. So at yeah. least he left. Like that's something. Just yeah. not one hundred percent a jerk. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And from a from another point of view, I mean, I hate the mustache, but I yeah. uh, love the Scottish accent. If he shaved, if so. he shaved <laughs> off his mustache, maybe one night. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you'll, you'll you'll like shave it off as the start, and be like, okay, let's have a. <laughs> 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 or if he grew out his beard, but that would take a little longer. Yeah. yeah. No, but, no mustache alone. That doesn't doesn't do. It. Yeah, mustache no. just doesn't do. It. <laughs> but about the Scottish is a Scottish accent or? <laughs> I like the Scottish accent. Yeah, but that's, I, like I mean, accent. yeah. Uh, I went to Scotland, so I kind of have um, kind of an emotional attachment to the whole country. <laughs> I think they had like tea glass, uh, tea cups or stuff, where they had like a mustache guard. Where you like drink it and wouldn't let it sp- spell on your mustache. I think there's, like, oh yeah, I've seen that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's built in. Well, I want to have you both on here, and, and we'll see if uh, your file reported. Send it to me if you did. Otherwise, it looks.